to the coronavirus here in Connecticut with cases rising. One of our state's biggest cities is now going backwards. New Haven announced it is reversing course when it comes to those local restrictions. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the mobile newsroom in the Elm City with all those details. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, this is going to have a big impact on parents here in New Haven. The plan was to send the kids back to school starting in November for some hybrid learning. But with the cases on the rise, uh, now they're going to be remaining with that remote virtual learning for the foreseeable future. And here's the reason why uh, New Haven Mayor Justin Elker says the city's COVID cases have been rising steadily. In fact, the city says they're looking at nearly 14 cases per 100,000 people. Health Department adds those numbers are likely even higher after learning a local urgent care facility wasn't reporting testing results. So in addition to remaining with the remote learning for its more than 40 schools, many New Haven businesses will now be capped at 50% capacity. That goes for restaurants, gyms, barbershops, hair salons, libraries. For the past three weeks, they were able to be at 75% thanks to phase three. Again, though, now they're going back to phase two. Also, indoor performance venues, those will now have to close again. The mayor says many of the current cases are believed to be from small social gatherings between friends and families, and he's asking everyone to do their part and be smart. That means wear your mask, social distance, and to really limit those social gatherings to your immediate core family. So that we can lower our cases and make sure that our kids are going back to school so that we can provide uh, a our restaurants with an opportunity to make a dollar and to hire more people. If we don't take that responsibility as adults, uh, we will be living in a very difficult environment for months and months. It is very important to err on the side of caution, to be extremely cautious because lives matter to us, health and safety of our young people and our families uh, takes the highest priority. And with the school staying with that remote learning, uh, one of the other impacts is that the city says it's going to be closing its learning hubs. Uh, they recently opened up a number of locations throughout the city to give parents a place to have their children go so they can sort of get their work done while mom and dad are at work. The city says now they're going to be closing those learning hubs as well uh, because they say they just don't want children gathering there and potentially uh, possibly picking something up while the numbers are going up. So uh, the mayor said they wanted to make this announcement now regarding the school so they can give parents plenty of time to plan and not have them spring this on them as they get closer to that November 9th date. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.